Hello beautiful souls and welcome back to my channel Soul Journey. My name is Beck or Anu Ani, the expansion doula. And today is Friday so we are doing a reading for the collective conscious uh, weekly. <laughs> um, if um, I don't know about you guys, I felt super ungrounded. Um, if this resonates, this video resonates, please comment down below and let me know what you think. All right, so today I wanted to start off a little different. Um, this new moon, uh, or rather full moon, uh, the equinox, Mercury retrograde, it is throwing me for a loop. Um, and it has really made me think about, and I feel like a lot of people are thinking about this right now, the concept of what is reality. And what I've come to realize is reality is a combination of experiences, choices, and perception. And that is all reality is made up of. And everyone's perception and choices and experiences are different. And therefore, we can never really determine what reality is aside from our perception. I don't care how many people tell you uh, what their reality is, it doesn't mean it's inherently true. So my soul family has kind of been talking a lot about this and really diving into the concept of what is reality. And I think during this time we're feeling very thrown. A lot is shifting on the planet. Every day feels like a new energy. Um, we're definitely raising in frequency. Everyone's kind of feeling it. And so we're having this trouble of knowing how to ground, but then also letting it happen. Um, but not being so thrown that we can't function. And depending on the day, we do better or worse at that. Um, so today is March 22nd. Uh, happy uh, spring. <laughs> uh, this is definitely new energy. I feel like this energy this year is going to be super intense. Like Teal talked about, this is the year of stride. Um, and it is going to be quite the ride. I feel like it's going to be like a well, um, like it's going to feel good. Like it's going to be hectic, but it is going to feel like much needed expansion. Kind of like how bursting from the cocoon can be very intense, but then it, it ultimately comes with freedom. So I'm pulling cards today so that we can get some clarity for this week. I know I've been feeling very thrown. I find pulling cards not only tactilely, tactilely? tactile uh, grounding because I'm you know working with cards. I can feel them. I can look at them. It's very physical. But they tap me into a another world and get me in tune with the frequencies of what's going on. Looks like spirit wants to talk to us a bunch. If this feels a little floaty, it's because it is. <laughs> Today we are going to be using the Wild Unknown Tarot and we are be going to be using the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. Now for all of you who know, who have seen my readings, uh, all of my cards are face down until I show them to you, so it is totally intuitive. Um, and I believe there might be some nudity in the Oracle cards, so if you're not interested in that, this would not be the video for you. All right, so let's get into it. So our main energy for this week, uh, obviously this is Friday, so this is gonna be the energy starting Sunday and going through. I like to do it on Friday just to kind of get us rolling um, so we can kind of focus. Our main energy is discernment. <laughs> I also think it's very interesting that there are geisha on this card. I have been like super obsessed with the geisha culture, um, the Maiko and the Geiko, 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 and all of that. It's been fascinating to me. I've been watching all of these documentaries on it, so I think it's interesting that this is a geisha. Um, but discernment. Well, talking about reality, this week is going to be about discernment. What is truth? What is not truth? What aligns with us? What feels 
um, to be true versus maybe what our senses are telling us. Um, and really getting clear on what feels in alignment with us. The light aspect of that is going to be patience. Interesting. So I feel like right now, because we feel like very hectic and things are all over the place, that we want to rush it. We want to know what's going on. We want to get to the end. But patience, you know, it's about the journey. Um, discerning truth, discerning reality takes patience. It takes study. It takes awareness. It takes going in. It takes integration. And it, it's... We often like the idea of getting to a destination, but just like Alan Watts said, uh, anything worth doing is about the journey. You know, a musical note, a, a song would be completely pointless if it was about getting to the end. It would be one note. So understanding that patience is really about the journey. We need to have patience on the journey. Uh, the journey is why we're here. There is no end game, um, especially if you feel that you return and you're infinite. There is no end game. It's all about the experience. It's all about the lesson. All right. And the shadow is going to be expression. Hmm, interesting. So I feel like because this is obviously in the reverse, this is going to be about um, curbing yourself, curbing your expression. Um, we have such a box that we've been put into as to what is normal, what is human. And of course, our beliefs and our structures are what hold us back from being infinite. You know, uh, the Atlantis King said the only thing, you know, calling something a chair, uh, you know, limits it to being just a chair. It could be a myriad of things. Uh, it could be used for a myriad of things, but saying it's a chair it limits it. So what is it about your expression that you are limiting? And to go along with that is nature. Interesting. So kind of, it's interesting that it's like nature and expression. And they're very similar kind of like nature-y feeling. So are you holding back your nature? Are you holding back who you truly are? And of course, uh, through integration or fracturing, um, that can be hard to figure out who you are. So through integration, that can be very, very important so that you can come into alignment with your true nature nature and your expression. You can discern uh, these things, and but it takes patience <laughs> to sum it up. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go into the tarot. Um, there was a lot more cards that came out, so I'm excited to see what they have to say. So our first card that came out was Five of Swords, interesting. So Five of Swords can mean um, overcoming something or becoming a victim of something. So I really feel like this is representing choice. It's like you can either be the victim or you can be the creator. You can decide <laughs> what you want this to be about. That's what I'm feeling for that. So our main energy for this week is the Hierophant. That's interesting. That's about tradition. So I feel like our discernment is going to come into what traditions um, serve us anymore. What needs to be let go what needs to be released. And along with that is the Two of Cups. So I feel like this process is going to have to do with connecting with others, maybe connecting with our soul group, connecting to um, others in this process. So even though, you know, we all have our own journey, we are going to be doing this together this week. We are going to be having conversation. We're going to be um, looking at each other's experiences and discerning what is best for us. So we're going to be deciding what traditional things, what uh, boxes, we were talking about boxes before, what of those are going to work for us. Are we going to be the victim of those or are we going to be the creator? What's going to assist us with that is the hanged man. So a change of perspective. <laughs> Shocker. So um, we're really turning things upside down on, our head, on their heads, right? So... I feel like this is going to throw some people and for other people it's going to feel very liberating. So I feel like this is really going to be about getting really in tune with what feels good for you. And traditionally we are taught not to you know, trust our own, we listen to other people who are smarter, wiser, whatever. But we're going to really get into our own discernment this week. 
What's going to assist with that is Four of Swords. So getting quiet, resting our minds, not letting our thoughts run away with us, um, allowing for ourselves to get quiet within ourselves um, is going to be really, really important when it comes to these shifts because when we get really quiet and we get in tune with us, we sometimes realize we're believing things that just don't make sense to us anymore. What is going to hinder us is the uh, five of wands. So there might be some agitation that comes up. There might be some resistance from maybe the outer world, but we have to realize this is about our, our discernment. This is going to be about our expression. This is very personal to us, um, along with the assistance of our soul family. It's not that you need to believe what your soul family is telling you. It's that you need to work together. All right, and along with that, interesting. So what's going to hinder us is Three of Cups, which is the social card. So I feel like, again, because it's the reverse, it's going. To, what's going to hinder us is disconnecting um, from our social group. It's going to be about disconnecting and getting all, like, worked up in our own thoughts. This is going to be about sharing space with people, safe space. This is not just with anyone. This is going to be with your kindred spirit, sharing space, being open, connecting, and communicating and creating a new better world together new better reality and the main energy for the whole reading is ten of coins so we are creating a legacy we are creating a new earth we are creating abundance and the ten of coins represents uh like legacy about like generational uh abundance and prosperity and connectiveness and just like new earthiness because obviously the pentacles are earth so new physical plane so in this understanding of discernment and creating uh new traditions and deciding which old traditions still work for us um we're going to be creating a legacy and that is super super exciting so that is today's reading i hope it resonated if it does please comment down below i love to hear your perception and if it doesn't resonate also comment down below keep it loving um and give this a like and hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this i post readings every friday and every monday i go into more deep dives about spiritual practice uh self-love sustainable living all of that good stuff so definitely feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos like that and hit the notification bell because that algorithm um and if you'd like a personal reading with me you can head down into the description down below i have my etsy shop um where i have all kinds of witchy and magical tools i have also my clothing line but there is where you can purchase a personal reading with me i have a couple different options so you can go check that out along with my patreon if you'd like to support my channel and my social medias it's all there so thank you so much for watching many blessings happy spring also happy fall for you in the southern hemisphere many many blessings namaste and don't forget it's all about the soul journey